in in the mom in this movie, man. Oh shit, she don't give a. F- I know. <laughs> yeah. But that, that that classic checked out mom. Yeah, yeah, she's there to cook dinner and get the. F- yeah. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, see, they like they come and tell her mom say something because you can <laughs> see dad is. Man, and she's like, I ain't gonna get in the middle of that. He, he might throw my ass in the ring. <laughs> 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 Try to have me win that belt. I, <laughs> y'all on y'all's own, man. <laughs> Double Toasted Live in Los Angeles is gonna be Saturday, April 27th for a night of comedy games and that after party. But let me go ahead and make a disclaimer right now in case people are talking about what the hell are you doing? Uh, we just got through doing the Wonka review. And I was in costume for that. And you know, I might as well stay in this costume so you don't need to sit over there looking. Nah, I'm dressed up for the Iron Claw. No, you can't. Yeah, you're stuck, man. (laughs) Yeah, you were one of the people that fought the Iron Claw, right? (laughs) Which wrestler were you? (laughs) It was the orange. (laughs) But I saw you. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, man. Hacksaw Duggan. Yeah. Uh, So I'm going to leave this on, man, because I'm not going to change. But just in case. You see us doing this and we're doing this review. I'm I, I'm not making a mockery out of the Von Erichs, uh this story or anything, because it is kind of a tragedy, but we're talking about kind of. people <laughs> saying, hey, you a tragedy right now. <laughs> so it goes, you two go perfectly. Uh, so there you go, just in case you want to go watch the Wonka review. We just did it. It was pretty good. Everybody had really good opinions around here. And the thing is, everybody had different opinions. So that was actually kind of cool. Well-rounded. It was well-rounded. There you go. A well-balanced review mm-hmm. <laughs> right there. All right, folks, let's go ahead and get into this other movie right here. And if you are a wrestling fan, then you probably know. And Martin's a huge wrestling fan, by the way, so he loves, <laughs> <laughs> he loves it. Uh, are you now? <laughs> He's mostly wrestling with the fans of wrestling. <laughs> He's wrestling with the idea that you love it. <laughs> but, but no, uh, if you're a wrestling fan, then chances are that you've heard of the Von Erichs. The Von Erichs are legends. The Von Erich family, they're legends within wrestling history. And you probably heard of the Iron Claw, you know, that wrestling move where they just put, and that's a cat, but. <laughs> yeah, it's but, just, just one hand. <laughs> it's just one hand. And it was a real move. They put their hand on you, put that pressure on that skull, and you went down. And you, and you, you, you flailed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, man. And Isn't then, that pressure point on their head? Hell yeah, man. And you, you were out. You were gone. But, but don't let them fingers touch that forehead. You gone, man. Uh, but sadly, if you've heard of the Von Eric family, then you've also heard of the Von Eric curse. You know, I'm not going to tell you what the Von Eric curse is in case you know the family, because I don't want to spoil anything about the movie. Uh, but... You know that it's it was it's it's a it's a very tragic story of this family within history. You know, for, they were at one point legendary for being one of the best wrestling wrestlers in the in the in the business, but also being a family. Mm-hmm. But then all this tragedy started happening, and they became known even more for that. But if you haven't heard of any of those things, and some of you are probably asking yourself, what the wrong with Zac Efron's face right now. <laughs> right, for, for when it's over a year, people are like, what'd he do to his face? I thought he had plastic surgery. Yeah. <laughs> it is a transformation, but it's a, it is a transformation for this movie, The Iron Claw. So just, in, you know, if you've been asking about the Von Erics or whether you've been asking about uh, Mr. Efron's face over here, we'll go into all of that when we get into our review, which we will do after this trailer for The Iron Claw. Ever since I was a child, people said my family was cursed. I love that when wrestlers just get in the ring and immediately yeah. start beating the shit. <laughs> man, the dude that played Ric Flair. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he was great, man. Yeah, he was. <laughs> Ric Flair's a funny ass dude anyway, man. If y'all ever go online, look at some interviews with Ric Flair. Dude's uh, hilarious, but... um. So Martin was telling me about a friend of ours who was, and if he's friend ever sees this, I'm not talking bad about you. Uh, Martin was, uh, no, 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 he wasn't. No, no, this, no. This guy, he's talking about how you or you were talking about how you were uh, talking to this guy, and he was like, "Well, this is just like any other sports movie out there." And when, oh yeah, and when I watched this, I'm like, "This is the the sports is secondary." Exactly. Now I will say this: it's a movie. So I, I can't say how true to life this is to the actual Von Erich, the Von Erich family. Uh, but I will say as far as the movie goes, if you just look at it as a movie, it's not a sports movie. It's actually a, uh, it's, 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 
it's more of a character study, mm -hmm. you know, and a look into this, the, a, like a fascinating look into this fascinating story of this family where that kind of asked the question, what the f is going on with them? <laughs> <laughs> well, I talked to uh, some, when we got out, some, some, um, some hardcore wrestling fans mm -hmm. and, it, and there's a documentary about the Von Erics that that's out there. Mm -hmm. And they were telling me how much of it was true. And it sounds like it's about 85% and, and only be, only it's only the fifteen percent that's left out is stuff where they just cut it for time or uh, or consolidated some things or kind of sped up the timeline, but these things actually happened. So you know, we're talking about what's going on with them. You know, the, really, the movies, you know, it's kind of just taking a closer look at this family because it's more tragic. You know, this so called you know it's quote unquote curse with them because you know they they were a loving family. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not like it, this is one of those dramas where the, everybody's you know is at each other's throats or backstabbing or anything like that. Even with the brothers being pitted against each other with their father, they they, they, still, they still bonded. Yeah, they, 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 they were all cool. They, they, yeah, they didn't let him you know turn them. He didn't. He wasn't able to turn them against each other. No, no, not at all, man. You know, they were all whether they were in the ring or at, at home, you know, playing football or eating you know dinner or whatever. They they all bonded. Man, listen. There's a lot of families out there that deserve to die. This was not one of them. No, <laughs> right? <I'm> not. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm not going to name those families, but there's a lot of families out there. <laughs> uh, and, and these brothers, man, had a they they had a strong bond. Yeah. With he, man, seriously, these brothers, they all love them. All of them, man. They had to stay. They, they they had this strong bond. And you know what? And the the father can be blamed for for pushing them too hard. But even he at certain points showed how much he loved his family. You know, he was close with his wife. He loved these kids. He loved wrestling more. <laughs> he loved getting that belt more. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, uh, fathers from that time, I, I don't know any of them that were really good. Um, he's especially not. Uh, my, oh, hat, yeah. my hat off to uh, Holt McCallany, Holt McCallany who, who's always playing a heavy and stuff. But I, I think he really steps up in this movie. He's great in this movie, man. This guy's a character actor. And I hope he gets more attention with this film because he's he's very good in this. And what I like about his performance is that he is a father that he, you know, he's like you say, he's from that time. There's moments where he's pushing these kids way too hard and he is doing it for his his to achieve his own dream. Mm -hmm. But then at other times you could tell, like, he also really does love his kids. He loves his wife. He, you know, he's they, they show the tender moments with him, which makes it even worse. I know. Because like <laughs> if you just stop this shit. Yeah. Yeah. If you could just stop being you and, <laughs> yeah. look, at, and look at your sons for just a little bit. Yeah. As, as the, not wrestlers. Even in the trailer, he's like, yeah, I love you guys, but in this order, okay? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. No, that whole speech where oh, he yeah. just straight up tells him, like, well, you know, you're my favorite. But, yeah, you know, you could, yeah. write, you, you could come up in the ranks if, you know, you do the right thing. Exactly. He wanted that. Up. He, 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 he did not get his chance to win the big belt back in the day. So now these, chid, these, these kids are his. And it's almost like... He's not evil, even though he's always lurking, doing some shady shit. But, <laughs> but, but he's, but it's like he's just, you know, he he's he's become just obsessed with this. He's not evil, but he's bad. No, he's no, he's bad. But you know, the, I think he's bad because he doesn't. He's one of those guys. He's Ahab chasing the well, man. Yeah, yeah. You know, he does. He's blinded by this dream. Doesn't mm -hmm. he? Does even he doesn't know uh -huh. the damage that he's doing. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a sort of a small, just a little bit of sympathy for him for that because he doesn't realize it. And he's gonna. He doesn't realize. You know, soon he's gonna lose everything if he doesn't quit. And and the mom in this movie, man. Oh shit, she don't give. A f I know. <laughs> yeah. But that 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 classic checked out mom. Yeah, yeah. She's there to cook dinner and get the. F Wait, yeah. That's it. Yeah, see, they, like they come in telling her mom, say something, because you can see dad is up, man, and she's like, I'm gonna get in the middle of that. He, he might throw my ass in the rain. <laughs> <laughs> Try to have me win that belt. I <laughs> y'all on y'all's own, man. <laughs> uh, listen, so the movie is slow in the beginning, and usually some people say that as a criticism, but it's even more obvious because of the lack of music and non-flashy direction. It makes the slow pace even more. Uh, uh, obvious uh, uh, when when you see the film, at least in my opinion. But I think that it's just a slight hand of, of distraction before you know the real tragedy hits because the movie is really it's really pulling you into you know the the this this family bond that they got. Well, I mean, it might be slower than the rest, but yeah, it you get to love the Von Erichs during that period. No, you get to know them. You get yeah. to love them. So then when things happen. Oh, it hurts you too. No, that's exactly what I'm saying. You know, they, you know, you, listen, they told you in the, in the trailer, there's a curse. 
And the movie moves at such a slow pace in the beginning. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but it moves at a pace where you're just hanging with this family. And so you start feeling like you're a member of the family. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so you start losing money. You start, you know, the things start happening. You feel like it's happening to you too. You feel like my family. <laughs> you can't, what are we going to do, brothers? What, what, what more can happen? <laughs> well, oh, come on. Yeah. The tragedy, that, and, and you know, and the tragedy that hits the family is a combination of, of freak occurrences and bad parenting. You know, uh, you get the impression that depression runs in their family. And that's another thing, man. See, that's another thing that you you want to blame the dad. But there's it just seems like there's other forces. Now, sometimes, you know, some people might say, yes, yeah, y'all are this is the witch cursed y'all are gypsy. Got a hold of y'all or something like this. Something supernatural going on here. But really, the movie kind of hints that it's a combination of a lot of things. But really, even if the dad was cool, some of this stuff probably would not it wouldn't have been avoided, mm -hmm. you know, because of the depression that's happening. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's just, and it's terrible, man. And, I, and families do have a gene that goes oh, through yeah, them. Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, and see, that's where I think like, I, I actually like that slow, gradual pace that just puts you into this family. I think the, the second half is when it felt like more of a movie. The mm -hmm. first half felt like, all right, I don't even notice that this is a film right now. Um, and again, it's because they, you know, they don't do a whole lot of flashy movie stuff. Mm -hmm. It's not a score playing real right, loud a lot right. of times or anything like that. How long is it? <laughs> it's about two hours. Okay. But I think in the second half is when it felt like a movie because it starts to pick up the pace a little bit more and it moves a little faster. And at that point, it's one cursed moment after another. <laughs> and it felt like, you know, and at that point, it felt like it was hitting the highlights of these curses, man. You know, uh, you know it felt like... Maybe spreading it out would have made it less noticeable, and I'm not even saying it's a bad thing because the tragedy is still there and it it's, plays out. You know, it, it's it's the 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 ever dilemma of do we do we take our time and have the audience complain about it taking too long? Yeah, or do we speed it up and it, to to please the people with the short attention spans, but make the other people feel like, man, why'd you rush that? Yeah, you know, and I. I, I I like this movie, okay? So don't, don't think I'm uh, criticizing it too hard on those points, but I think that I would have liked this being more of a show and then mm -hmm. we could have spent more time on each brother because there are some brothers that they just kind of, you know, they get to it and then they kind of rush their story for me a little bit, you know, to get to the tragic moment that hits them. Um, but, you know, the thing is, is that there's a... the. the the reason to watch is the performances. Oh, absolutely. I mean, if nothing else, the performances are what really... Are, are what's going to hold you here, I man. mean, look, how many years have we spent propping up your boy, Zach, and waiting for him to get that role. We were like, we believe in you. We this know is, you can do this. Yes. They just got to give you your shot. Almost like like the wrestlers. Like, you're like, you just get your shot. And this is his shot. And this he is takes it. it. No, he, Zach Efron stands out in this movie. And I'm going to tell you, he stands out. I mean, it's his movie. Well, it's funny because it's his movie, but he plays uh, Kevin Von Eric in... in, in First of all, before I even get into his character, because it's funny that he's this is his movie because he uh <clears throat> he's the he's like the most quiet mm -hmm. and the most yeah. shy yeah. out of all the Von Erics. Mm -hmm. And so his performance is probably the most subdued out of everybody. Yet this is his movie because he's the one that actually because he is the shy one, he's the the the, the boy can't even He's a terrible public speaker. <laughs> he's he, he's goofy around girls. <laughs> yeah. He's actually kind of a sweet guy, man, uh -huh. you know? Uh and He's the most subdued out of the out of the movie, but he's the heart of the film because he sees what's going on. He's the one that's pleading with everybody to like, everybody, stop. <laughs> yeah, everybody yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, brother. I'm going to be all right. <laughs> yeah. There's blood right there. Oh, yeah. Man. You know, and Zac Efron, everybody's going to be talking about him because of his performance, but more people are probably going to be talking about his physical appearance. Yes, his transformation. Look, yeah, he don't even look real. I know. He looks, I, you know what? He looks like a He-Man action no, figure. No, that's the thing. Yeah, yeah. With, with that hair. Look at this. With that hair, that's crazy. all I can think is that he's a He-Man action figure. He's a he's He-Man, especially when he takes that towel off and he's got one of them He-Man, you know, bikini underwear on. <laughs> yeah. And, everything. and then he looks like He-Man. In uh -huh. fact, I wish he had just walked off this set and went to go make a He-Man movie. <laughs> he don't look real. Uh... But his performance is uh, in contrast to his body, man. Like I said, you know, you expect when you look at him like this, you expect him to be a roided out person like, hey, brother, bring your ass over here and I'll beat the. You know, it's like it, whether he's in front of the camera or not, he's not like that, man. He's very, he's very quiet. Well, that, that was the thing with the. He's Von, the soul of the movie. Yes, he is. And with the the Von Erics in real life, because when uh, when I was younger, I did watch wrestling a lot mm -hmm. and used to love the Von Erics, and they they weren't 
the big hillbillies, the big boots, just like everybody <laughs> else. They they were more acrobatic. Yeah, and 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 not you know they didn't come off as meatheads. No, and see that's uh that's what I like about that's what I like about all these performances with them, man. Because I'm talking about we're talking about Zac Efron, and we everybody's been. Everybody's been pulling for Zac Efron for years, man. Mm-hmm. And finally, this movie, this 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 is hidden for him. Yeah. Uh, but you know, all these performances are great, and all these brothers they have non they have they have anti bro vibes going yes. on. You know, uh, uh, Harris Dickinson who plays David Von Erich, who I didn't know was British. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He's in Triangle of Sadness. Oh, that's that movie you told me to watch. Yeah, I haven't yeah. seen yet. I had no idea he was British because he is country as hell in here, man. Oh yeah, he's yeah. Very no, he, Texas. No, he's a really good actor. He's oh, wow. he's he's got some yeah. new show that he's on. But I first saw him. I think it was See How They Run, where he played a, a young uh, Lawrence Olivier. And wow. even, even even in that, that movie's not even that good. But in in that movie, I was like, man, this 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 guy's pretty good. It's funny because he's uh, opposite of his brother. He's a great speaker, but still laid back. Yeah, still yeah. very cool. Uh, same with uh, Jeremy Allen White as Carrie Von Eric, man. I mean, uh, he's the most broy out of them. He is, but even then, he's he's still because he lost his chance in the Olympics. At the, in the mm-hmm. movie, uh, uh, Jimmy Carter, he's boycotting the Moscow Olympics, and he lost his chance as a disc thrower. And you thought he'd be bitter and sad. And he goes home. And he's just like, okay, what's next? Yeah, like, I guess, he's real. I guess I'll wrestle with you guys. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, he's very respectful to his dad. You know, mm-hmm. they're all just laid back, nice dudes, man. Uh, even the. Even the 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 youngest Von Eric. Let me see here, because I, I I don't know the the I don't know the actor's name uh, in here, but this dude, you know, they, he don't even want to be he don't even want to be a, <laughs> a he don't even want to be a, 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 a wrestler. He just wants to sit back and sing, oh, you know, old emo ass pop songs and <laughs> shit. So and, or rock songs. And his tragedy is probably the worst. Yeah, no, it's 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 awful, man. But yeah, he just wants to play sensitive rock songs to people, man. Uh, they all tease each other like brothers, but you know they have each other's back. All of them, man. They are always looking after each other, man. Uh, rarely anything macho about them, mm-hmm. except being wrestlers, mm-hmm. man. I'll say this too, man. The the wrestling scenes, I think, are really impressive because that these actors actually got out here and learned to do this and took yeah. this punishment. The, the 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 stunt coordination on this is so good, man. I think the movie. <sighs> It makes it clear that it's not trying to lie to people at all. It makes it clear that these matches are pre-scripted. But I think one could appreciate the physical dedication that wrestlers put into this because they really wreck their bodies. And you see that being something that's mentioned here. Appreciate what you do to your bodies. <laughs> you have to be saying. <laughs> I don't want take to hear this anymore. Take it easy, man. <laughs> <laughs> take it easy, man. <laughs> Thank you for saying what needed to be said. Are, are all the wrestling scenes shot from outside of the ring like that? No. A lot of the st- okay. No, no. Because no. that did look cool, though, in the trailer. No, some of them are, some of them are. Uh, I think it has unbalanced pacing, but uh, still a captivating story, man. And a lot of this is really done by the actors, and uh, you know that been, the the performances helped me, you know, just even with the complaints I had, helped me throughout the film, man. So yeah, I, I would give this a low full price, and I I enjoyed this. I found the movie uh, completely captivate captivating. Actors from, I mean, the performances from every actor, and the way it's put together, and it's a ride, and. It's a, it's you know you've done a good job when you get the audience to fall in love with your characters and it breaks their hearts when <clears> bad <throat> things happen to them. Um, I only wish, and I rarely say this, I wish it could have been longer. Oh yeah, 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 really? yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I mean, it was coming to a close. I was like, huh, you know, another twenty minutes just to like take our time and get to know a little bit more of this. I, I would have been completely fine with. Uh, yeah, for me, it's a high full price. Yeah, I, you know, I'm with you on being longer, but I would rather, that's what I meant when I said I'd rather have a TV show. Well, so many things are shows now. That's, and, I like and, that. And it's, it's such a commitment. Yeah. I, I actually like that. If the, if the commitment actually pulls me in, like if I, if I could watch an episode about each brother, yeah, you know, no, I, no. I would have liked that. I, I get what you're saying. If, if it could have been like a four episode show, but a lot of shows are eight episodes. So you get a lot of filler and it, it dilutes it. Somebody said, follow the house of Von Eric. <laughs> so I'd watch that. Oh, oh well. That's a good title, actually. Yeah, it's a great title. Yeah, it's, it should do that. The real to me, damn it! <laughs> I mean, you're awesome. Thank you so much, Mr. Funk, for saying Thank you so what much, Mr. Thomas. Saying. That thing would need to be said. I want to see another one of these.
Just <laughs> <laughs> fade out of me. That was Martin watching the movie cry. I don't want to see another one of these. <laughs> uh, all right, y'all. 